this biodiesel from Marine Algae segment for Discovery Channel Canada has been brought to you exclusively by HSBC Bermuda. It looks like everyday common pond scum. For this parrotfish, it's dinner. Dr. Michael Lomas of the Bermuda Institute of Ocean Sciences is betting marine algae will revolutionize the fuel of the future. Biodiesel from marine algae really is a green bullet to, to change the way we produce energy and that will reduce the demands on fossil fuel and, and have a very positive effect on climate change. Here at BIOS, Dr. Lomas is trying to hunt down the perfect strains of algae to take on this job. He's got a hunch he'll find them in Bermuda's Sargasso Sea. In the Sargasso Sea, there's well over a million microorganisms. From that, we're guessing there's going to be a thousand that are the best biodiesel algal candidates. And that fraction is a much higher fraction than in other places in the world's ocean. The algae in the Sargasso Sea require very low levels of nitrogen and phosphorus which means they can store higher amounts of carbon per cell. That carbon is incorporated into fats, which then ultimately will be extracted for biodiesel. The first step is to collect water samples. Here, they release tens of empty cylinders into the Sargasso Sea. They bring the samples back to the lab and using a laser, meticulously peer inside every plant cell. The laser on the cytometer excites individual cells that have been where the fats have been fluorescently stained. We look for those cells with the highest fluorescence. Those are the fattiest cells and the best candidates for biodiesel. Well, an ideal biodiesel candidate will have a very high amount of fat per cell. It will grow very fast and at high densities and will be able to be harvested efficiently. They've been meticulously doing this for a year and have discovered more than 50 species of algae. Only a handful of these look like biofuel powerhouses. The next big step is to grow them. We grow them from their small volumes up to these 80 liter containers to make sure that once we then go to the next step that these truly are the best growth candidates. They may be fatty, but if they don't grow, they're not gonna work for biodiesel production. It takes two to three weeks for these promising strains to grow to this volume. Now it's time to harvest the tiny green plants. This screen has a very fine mesh, roughly one one hundredth the thickness of a human hair. That process takes a large volume of algae and condenses them down into a very, very concentrated paste. From a full 80 liter container, we get somewhere between a half and a full coffee cup roughly four to eight ounces, depending upon the, the specific organism. Once harvested, a couple of simple chemical treatments turn the solid fat into oil, which is converted to biodiesel for cars. But how much will fill up your car tank? To make enough biodiesel to fill a gas tank in a car will take roughly a thousand of these 80 liter containers. The question is, can they generate enough biofuel to make a difference? We don't have the engineering down to efficiently extract that valuable resource of the lipids from the algae. He doesn't have the engineering down yet. He predicts that will take another decade. But you can bet that when they get it right, Dr. Lomas will be the first in line to fill up his tank with biofuel made from Sargasso Sea algae. This biodiesel from Marine Algae segment for Discovery Channel Canada has been brought to you exclusively by HSBC Bermuda.